Composing gloves here today, we're looking at some free scary plugins. Uh, all of these can be found in the free database. There'll be a link down below. If you search for scary, you'll come up for all the plugins that are trying to be scary. So for example here, I've got here scary, and these are everything that's trying to be scary. So let's just start off with the one we're on now. This one just came out. It's probably my favorite of the bunch because of how creative it is. And it's got the freaking coolest demo. So if it's made by Quilcom, this person, uh, this is Windows only, by the way, I should preface that, 64-bit Windows only. Uh, this person has been making plugins for like forever. They're super cool. So go check out their demo. Uh, but it's it's a voice changer and it's also got this like really cool like ghost radio vibe where you like tune it and you know you just get all these sort of scary sounds. And then as you move things like faces appear and, and whatnot. So pretty cool. If you have a haunted house and you're looking for just some atmosphere and you also want like a creepy way to talk to people, uh, this could be up your alley. So I have here this input. Composing gloves here. And today we're looking at some free scary plugins. And then you heard it at the beginning is what it sounds like. So tuning is going to affect the voice. It is super cool, super creative. And again, these are all free. So just download this and check it out. It's really freaking cool. Uh, up next, we're going to go actually after this one. This is the Terror Man. It's a theremin that is that is scary. <laughs> That's what it is. So this is the Terror Man. We're going to go for the more recent version with the GUI update. There's two and it's played with your mouse. That, that's what it is though. It's a theremin, but it's scary, okay? Uh, there are different modes. And if you come over here, there's you don't have to use your mouse. But if you're legit, right, that's how you're gonna play it. So there is some, like you can play it with a MIDI keyboard. You can see how it's gonna look on a keyboard and then play it like that. There are some options here. So there you go. You're you're able to use your keyboard if you if you really want to. There's some neat sound design patches. Some of these, such as uh, number six, for example, you can play with your mouse. And you can use the keyboard to shift values around. So it's kind of a cool hybrid way of playing it. But went for the terror vibe, kind of a good one. There's a few in here that are kind of hilarious. Let's take a look at one of the ones I find like just there's a few that are just outrageous in sort of how corny they are. There's one, for example, called like Satan's Fiddle. Now these are these are old, these are old plugins. Just part of the reason I think they're so dang funny, but it's just literally a red hand on a fiddle. But you get some pretty cool sounds that way. You know? Just kind of a just kind of a fun one. That's Satan's Fiddle. So let's take a look here at the Haunted Guitar Lite first. Yeah, so here we are. We'll go ahead and hit start. And you've got like a guitar in the closet. I don't believe the knobs change any of the graphics beyond that. We have our presets up here. Steps. I gotta pull my keyboard out so I can see what I'm playing. I don't think it delivers much on like, it doesn't sound scary. Maybe I need to play scarier stuff. That's the Haunted Guitar Light. Here is Horror Box, same company. Mm. 
This one has a little more atmosphere to it. This is the scary vibe. So that striker, let's take a look at some more. Here's zero. I'm not gonna try and say that out loud. As far as scary goes, I honestly think this one is the closest and they've got some like blank ones here that I don't think are doing them any favors, but yeah, if you go up here. So yeah, there is a full version. This is the light version. Maybe this is for the full presets. I don't know, you got me. But this one definitely does a better job at sounding scary, I think. This one's Dark Accord 3 Light, kind of a play on the harpsichord. Here's what it sounds like. We got ourselves a scary, uh, scary harpsichord here. like diminished or I don't know. It's a scary harpsichord. I don't know what else uh, to really tell you about it. Boo. Here we have, again, same company. They've, they've really gone down the Halloween route. Creepy Piano. Oh, didn't mean to click that. We've got a few options here, a couple presets. I don't know. That's my attempt at a scary piano. Here we have this one's called the Serpent Plague. Bitter Howl. Grave Blink. Grotesque. That's all I'm giving you. Cadaverous. Ah, I'm gonna be a little too happy right there. Clay Shock. gives you an idea here of creepy piano three light i'm not sure how far yeah there's still a ton more here you can go through and mess with again there's some blank presets here that are just kind of like odd all right so scary piano i do want to cover it because it's just hilarious scary scary it's just it's just so funny um this is made for the plogue port sondo 
So for this, you actually need to go to their site, you'll download it, but you'll also need Plog as the engine to play, which is also a free plugin. So again, these are all, this is still 100% free. It's just a little bit more effort to get to. Uh, so once we're here, what we have to do is we have to go to where we downloaded it. So once you navigate to it, there's gonna be an XML file and you're just gonna drag this on and this is gonna like register it with you. And just so you know, uh, you're gonna want this in its final location because if you ever change this, Every time you do it, it's gonna ask you to unregister it. And you'll, you'll have to unregister it if you want it to stop yelling at you every time you try to scan your plugins. So just be aware of that. It can be kind of annoying. Um, anything done with Plog is gonna have that issue. So just, just a heads up. I found, I learned that kind of the hard way. So here is the scary piano. If we go over to the controls. So they, they make a bunch of instruments, by the way. Check them out. So we'll, let's let's just get scary. Well, let's just start out scary here. So this is not scary, which is which is nothing. So I guess we need some scary. Here's scarier. Scariest. And finally, withering. crazy with it but that's that's the scary piano yeah these next ones are <laughs> these next ones are all kind of crazy so here's the vampire violin sort of similar vibe satan's fiddle same person it's just a jpeg that's supposed to be scary so you if you're feeling crazy go for it again these are a lot of these are windows only um you can check out the formats on on it They're, these really old ones tend to be there was Satan's Fiddle and then a Voices of Darkness. That was another one that's just totally ridiculous. So here's Voices of Darkness. Um, I, I believe it's just the JPEG and what you play, it's a, it's a, it's just a JPEG. There you go. Do you feel disturbed? Horror movie soundtrack. I had a lot of fun going through this person's plugins. These are 32 bit, so you need a doll that can handle it. I believe if I recall, the first one doesn't make any sounds. Yeah, you have to pick a, a setting. So we've got here, evil strings, a haunted piano, a horror percussion kit, a possessed organ, and a tortured orchestra. So here is the evil strings. Oh, you know what? This might be, um, is this the one that's like all their stuff put together? No. So evil strings, I believe, is set up. There's another one that they made that might be different. That's Evil Strings. Here's Haunted Piano. It's like that piano at your grandma's house that hasn't been played in forever. Uh, the Horror Percussion Kit. This, some of these are unironically good. Like, they're very, these are actually like really useful sounds. I don't know the chord stack on that. I know it's a D minor or something. Uh, that one's fun. And here's the torture orchestra, which has got a questionable JPEG. We will get rid of that. Hey, it sounds the least scary of everything too, but it definitely has the scariest JPEG. Oh yeah, and since it's 32 bit, sometimes you get these weird behaviors. So just a heads up. Now these next ones aren't technically free, but it wouldn't be a complete scary list without these things. They can be stolen. So they want you to pay. They don't want you to steal. They'll even accept you paying less uh, if that keeps you from just stealing it. They provide ways of stealing it from them for free. Um, I re actually reached out to them about whether or not they even wanted to be on this, uh, on my free plugin database because they very clearly want you to pay, but there's a, a steal option. 
And they said, yeah, they, they would. They just they just want you to know that you're stealing it. <laughs> so it's here as a as a steal option. So if you're evil and you steal and you don't feel like paying for software, then you know you can steal from them. I think they're really cool and think you know it's not free. So if you want these, you should pay for them. Um, but these are dumpster fire back mask mish by and pocket dimension they're working on another one that's just bananas they're all freaking weird they all do bizarre things um their controls there's no manual their controls are just backwards and and just there's like hidden easter eggs all over the place i recommend you check them out uh i'm not going to show them because they're not technically free but i feel like i have to mention them uh so if you want to look go ahead uh check them out they're cool they're cool plugins and that is the scary plugins the free scary plugins. So if you have any questions, if you have a favorite or one I didn't have on here, because I'm always adding more to this, uh, feel free to drop it down below. I'll try to get it on the free plugin database before Halloween. It's gotta be free. It's not free. Uh, I'm not really interested in it right now. I'm mostly working on this one. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit the bell, and have a blessed day.